Lewis, first week of pre-season, how have you found it with the new manager? Yeah, really good. Um, I can already tell like the standards are being driven so high. Um, new lads have come in, done really well and uh, I'm enjoying it, yeah. As a manager, he doesn't seem like someone who'll mix his words. Does that help as a player, the honesty you get from him? Yeah, I think so. And. He's, he's very passionate. Where, like, I can already tell he wears his like emotions on his sleeve, and I think that's going to be a good thing for us. Um, I think we need that now. Like, if we if we want to be getting promoted, that's what you need. You need no mincing of any words. You need to be be straight with everyone, and that's what he's going to be. Of course, you've been in this position before with a new manager coming in. The one constant is Paul Gerrard. Yeah. How important is that for you and the other young goalkeepers here? Yeah, I've always said like for me, Jez has been massive in my development. Um, since I come in, he's always been the one that's been a constant, like you just said, and he's always helped me all the way through. And everything that I've worked towards has been like down to him, really. And me and him working together, we've got a really good relationship now. And like I've, I've said it before, we sometimes it's like we read each other's mind. We know what each other are going to say sometimes before it even comes out of our mouth. You had your first taste of league football towards the back end of last season. What have you spent your time doing? between the last game of the season and coming back in this week. I, I imagine a lot of gym work and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been in the gym. I've tried to put on a few kilos, which we've managed to do. And um, same with Ben Bottomley, really. The, that was the plan for us to put, put on a bit of weight and just so we can uh, be a bit more aggressive, come for crosses and show, have a bit more of a presence. And obviously that's one thing that we want to do this year. I think we're going to play with a bit more of a higher line and that's going to be a job for me to, to demand that area. Yeah, there have been a couple of additions in the back four. What have you made to those? Yeah, like I said, um, all of them have settled in really well. Obviously, I know Tommy Rowe from before, so if he's going to slot in at left back, that'll be that'll be good for me. And, and um, Noyley's done really well, and Rowe's composure when I've watched him out there for like obviously similar age to me, his composure is unreal. You look at the, the players that have been brought in in those positions, and you mentioned Rowe there, but. Also, the other lads, the experience they've got while still at a young age could prove to be valuable next year. Yeah, season. yeah, like I say, I just spoke about Rowe there having composure. I think he's played over 70, 70 games in the league already. Um, noyley has got a lot of experience, obviously been with a gaffer before. But we're bringing in a lot of good players and obviously we've got a good good core of players. We obviously had uh, Tom and the other lads as well, so I think it's looking promising, yeah. There is a small matter of a, a squad number change for you as well. You yeah. can see the number one on your jersey there. How pleasing is that for you and how proud a moment was it to be handed that number by the gaffer? Yeah, I'm obviously really pleased. It's summer, I think I started at number 41, that was my first ever number. So to get down, take that 40 off it and finally get down to number one is obviously a very proud moment for me. But it's about keeping that number now and showing that obviously that's what I deserve. How does that come about? Is it a sit down chat with the manager and he says that you've got the shirt or is it a case of just... Yeah, for yesterday it was a weird one because when I come in on the first day there were no number one kit laid out and then um, obviously the last few days I'd, I'd actually been wearing 13 and then yesterday he pulled me up and just said, why, why are you wearing 13? And I said, oh, that were the only kit that were out so I just put it on and he says, no, go, in, go downstairs now, wipe your name off that 13, put it on one and it's like... It's yours now, just make sure you smile more, he said to me. <laughs> Which I can understand after seeing my photos in them kit, that kit yesterday. So, that must yeah. be brilliant though for you and your family, of course, being a Doncaster lad, to, to have that number one shit, which is what every goalkeeper wants, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, my mum and dad are obviously really proud. They both t I've obviously texted them yesterday and they seen the kit shoot yesterday. They were both buzzing and I were like, obviously quite embarrassed because I don't think I'm much of a model, but they were loving it, so yeah, it's good.